I am Janet Manoa and this is my story. <laughs> Janet is um, a fun loving person. Um, I love God. I love worship. I love music. Uh, I love family. And I love truth. I think everything should be based on truth and love. I grew up um, loving music so much, listening to music. Uh, my dad would play a lot of music in our home, and it was Christian music only, by the way. And um, so I started writing songs at a very early age, and I knew God had give, given me the gift to write songs and, uh, and all. But um, then stepping out as Janet to, to actually sing to masses, it took a bit of time. I listen to a lot of Shingisai Soluma, <laughs> that's one, and uh, Shirley Caesar was, um, I listened to her a lot, and Whitney Houston, I loved her voice, yeah, they had a great influence on my life. What inspires me is uh, my surroundings inspire me to write. Um, but most importantly, the Word of God inspires me. So my musical process uh, begins by me writing the, the songs. For me, the melody and the words usually come together. So I um, get a song from anywhere. It can be on my way to work, on uh, my way to school run, anyhow. Uh, and um, I then record that on my phone. I use my voice recorder. I record my music and then I, I've got my sound boards who I give the music to to listen and then they criticize and sometimes it's so painful. Uh, this day and age, um, I'm grateful for social media and um, all the platforms that we're using now to um, promote the music, to buy the music, to share the music. It's, it's an amazing tool that we are using to, to promote the music, like we've got Buddy Beats, which is so amazing. Uh, digital platforms have made uh, distribution so much easier because um, the greatest thing is we can distribute our music to places we wouldn't have gone by road or whatever. I met Janet and Munya several years ago uh, during one of my visits to Zimbabwe. We, we had a very brief conversation initially and uh, Munya was telling me how Janet was wanting to record a worship project and they were wondering if I could mentor her through that process and uh, I gladly obliged. Uh, that's really how the song Amazing God was born. We co-wrote that song uh, using Skype video conferencing. Uh, I recorded my lead vocals here in my studio in the States and Janet did the rest uh, in Zimbabwe and of course God took that song to places we never really thought it would go. When we released Amazing God I didn't expect the impact that it had uh, but I give glory to God for he makes all things possible and uh, it was well received and um, it encouraged me to press on and go on. I used to be a behind the scenes person. I was concentrating more on uh, just writing and um, being a backing vocalist and I was happy there. Um, but I guess at a certain point, God gave me the grace to step out and uh, be, be comfortable being in the limelight. I definitely still get stage fright. Each time you, you, you see me stand up there, I, I, I then have the uh, ability, or I've grown, I guess, to have the ability to be able to minister from, from the abundance of my heart. Well, my parents were very strict. I grew up in a Christian household. Um, but uh, you know what? I really thank God for the experience that I went through as a, as a Christian kid. Um, it gave me grounding, um, it, it gave me direction, and even up to this day, I remember the sermons <laughs> that would come from my parents every, 
every after supper, every day, and they were a great source of inspiration to my life. Also seeing how God worked with them in their lives gave me hope and understanding and um, revelation of who God is. Uh, Janice is a very jovial person. She is um, an extrovert. She expresses herself. So when you, you when you are with her, you know if it's time to have fun, we are really gonna have fun. Janet used to sing a lot. She used to hum a lot. She's not singing; she's humming. Uh, even when when we're in the kitchen uh, doing chores or anything, we always used to be singing. Uh, we used to like personally. I was the one who used to make beats for her on the table while she's singing, and I can I can say I was her first producer. I mean, others then came, but yeah. I think my parents are very um, uh, proud of me. Uh, I, I just see them interact with other people and they can't wait to tell them that no, I'm Janet's father. <laughs> I, I, I remember well when you said God had spoken to you about about uh, being a worshiper. Yeah, it, when, when you were three months pregnant, that's when God spoke to me about the career of Janet's music and then uh, we both agreed that uh, she was going to be anoint even when she was still in your womb. And I still remember we were very strict parents. We never used to allow Yevin to sleep out because we were guarding this thing that the Lord had spoken to us about. One thing about Janet is that she's teachable. Whenever you, you, you tell her something, you teach her, she would stick to it. And she's got that element of excellence. She pays particular attention. To detail whatever she does she pays particular attention to detail when i celebration um, uh, that's when i realized that the the gates which we had proclaimed on the album the second album which is grateful were much bigger than we ever we ever thought janet has been serving faithfully as a worship leader in our church for the last 10 years and oftentimes having to balance family her public ministry with her commitment to the church. In an age where the tendency is to worship God the way we want to, the way we think we should, and not necessarily the way he wants to be worshiped, I want to commend Janet for upholding the word of God, for upholding modesty, and for practicing a standard of excellence in her music. A lot of people can sing, they can play instruments, and they call themselves artists, but very few are. Janet's the real deal, and no amount of distance and technology or lack thereof can get in the way of, of creating magic when you've got that artistic ability. Um, it's amazing, you know, the technology to record people these days has made the recording process a lot less expensive than it used to be 40 years ago. Janet is amazing. Um, when we got married, uh, her father, you know, approached me and told me that um, I want you to support my daughter. Um, she can sing. Um, she wrote a song, and the song just blew me away the first time I heard it. So from there, I've seen a rise. I've seen her grow, um, both vocally and as a songwriter. I'm proud of her. I am. I'm, I'm super proud of her. She has touched lives. She has, we've received so many testimonies, and we are very encouraged. Proverbs 31 verse 10 says, "A wife of noble character, who can find? She is far worth more than rubies, and her husband has full confidence in her. She brings him joy all the days of her life." This is what Janet means to me as a husband. I got married on the 1st of January 2011, yeah, and uh, uh, I got married to this tall, light, handsome dude. I never sang for him <laughs> for the longest time, uh, but some time ago I, 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 I would sing maybe worship songs, Christian songs together as a family. My husband is the most supportive um, husband I know. Let 
I got to know about Inspire 20 through a Facebook uh, post where I was tagged, um, where Janet had put up a post where she was saying she was looking for um, applications for young aspiring musicians, um, where she wa female musicians, where she wanted to gather them to inspire them. So I've learned a lot of things from um, being working with my mom. Um, one of the things is that she has a spirit of excellence in everything that she does and in every area of her life. She exudes that and she encourages us to always try to do things properly. Inspire 20 is a program that I started two years ago. Um, I wanted to do something for my birthday. Um, my birthday is in March. And uh, this was because I get a lot of requests for mentorship. I get a lot of uh, inbox messages and DMs of uh, they saying, can you mentor me? Can you speak to me about this? Can you walk me with me through this journey? And because of time constraints, sometimes I can't be there for all of them. So I then um, had that plan to sit down with plenty of them, have lunch with them, uh, speak to them, at least to kickstart um, the gift. So the 20 girls have to be aspiring musicians. They have to be... Um, aspiring gospel musicians because that's my domain and uh, that's, uh, that's what I can answer more uh, correctly. My role in Janet's career is I'm her manager but uh, more than that I'm her strategic partner, visionary and it's my responsibility to, to run the day-to-day -day operations of Janet Manuel Music. Uh, piracy has really, really been a drawback for many a musician and we, we really appreciate innovations like buggy beats which have come in and you know reduced the impact of piracy to a greater extent. The emergence of um, the digital era has been a, a game changer for us and um, in the past decade or so we've seen the, the emergence of digital elements such as YouTube and uh, Facebook in, in terms of marketing our music and getting our music out there. In terms of uh, our live shows, we, we've seen EcoCash to be such a convenient mode of payment and processing bulk payments. Um, we've got a merchant code that people can pay to uh, and buy their tickets from. And logistically, in terms of physically distributing our CD and our music, you, know, you no longer have to run around with physical CDs. And the, the disappearance of um, a lot of uh, music stores in Zimbabwe, you know, we used to have spin along, we used to have all these other shops selling music. It has it made uh, our life very difficult in terms of distributing music, but Buddy Beats has been a lifesaver and as musicians we really appreciate the convenience that comes here with those online platforms. I'm proud and grateful for what God has done in, for Janet and uh, I look forward that the Lord will keep on blessing her. Oh, 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 oh. My name is Janet Manuel and this is my story. <laughs> <laughs>